Hello people, welcome to the stream again, back with me. So, it is uh, the Friday night and we're gonna build another board. So, uh, for sure uh, this board is, uh, is not becoming uh, the schedule of our February keyboard build commission because this is uh, this is the board that I've been waiting uh, for uh, maybe it's almost two months ago so I have uh, time to build it for tonight and yeah hopefully uh, it will uh, I'm not sure is it uh, gonna match with my preference or not but yeah hopefully uh, the board is feels and sweet with me <laughs> okay so uh, as you see on the title so uh, for tonight we're gonna build the mono k hero so it is a 65% mechanical keyboard from mono k and I think it was uh, sold between two years ago and if you watch uh, an event from Honda yesterday, I mean, maybe it's around last week, there is uh, an event from collaboration with between Honda and the Lightning. So uh, uh, it is uh, the same board uh, as, uh, as the, uh, yeah, as the uh, previous uh, streaming from the Lightning keyboard. So it is the Monoke Heroes. And yeah, chat. Uh, hopefully, you are doing great for tonight, and I'm doing so. <laughs> and okay, maybe I can quit the scenes. And yeah, finally, we can start build this keyboard. Hello, Mr. Levan. Welcome back. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, I have uh, I haven't sent your board yet, but probably uh, uh, tomorrow morning I will be uh, prepared to packaging because I'm running out for the wrap. Uh, I'm not too sure. I have still your uh, last wrap uh, when you are sending this board, but yeah, I think it is good to like adding more protection so uh, maybe in the morning I will uh, go to the stores and uh, buy some wrap also I, uh, I also need uh, the wrap when I'm sending back uh, other keyboards from me to the others and yeah okay so without any further ado <laughs> take your time all right and also uh, I think I will take a typing test record for your keyboard tonight and yeah, as always uh, if I build some keyboard and uh, it, it, I always uh, try to uh, uh, record the typing test so uh, maybe if you uh, need uh, like the preference or, or you need some like the what it's called maybe the history is or what you can see the typing test or maybe you have planning to rebuild the board so you have like a uh, preference between the uh, any other board that I have been built okay yeah okay so here is it our main menu for tonight so it is the Nice packaging from Monoke. I think uh, I'm not too sure if uh, others uh, Monoke lineup is uh, bring or included with the uh, what is it called the back, not the back, like the sleeve uh, sleeve protection for the case. But it is really good since uh, if we compare to uh, the previous uh, carbon case is like the size is really big and this one is like uh, smaller and compact so you can like uh, put it on your back on or like yeah, it is uh, more uh, 
one part to bring uh, and here is it so i think this this is the new bag from one okay uh, i'm not sure if they are gonna include it this size bag for uh, their next round keyboard because it, it is pretty small and like look at this pretty small and compact okay <laughs> so I, visitor so it is uh, very small and compact uh, or yeah I can bring you the uh, previous uh, carbon case uh, looks like we have it we still have it for the carbon case just to uh, make comparison between the new carbon case and the previous one Okay, so it is the uh, like the previous uh, carbon case. You can see it. Uh, it is a bit a bigger size if we compare to this one. So even though uh, this bag is for Tomo, which is the seventy-five percent layout, and this one is like the for the sixty-five percent layout keyboard, but uh, you can see there's a big gap right here. So like uh, I think Monofi just like redesigned their case because you know it is uh, like uh, too big for keyboard case. So maybe if you uh, bring your board with this bag, you you a little bit uh, have a small room on your bag, or maybe you can like handle or carrying it with your hand. But with the smaller one, you can choose between uh, carrying it with your hand or put it inside your bag and it is like more compact <laughs> okay so let me put it again yeah because uh, a lot of people just complaining about uh, i hear that uh, some uh, some people is complaining about the carbon carbon case is like it is too big and also it is a bit not uh, too really compact to uh, to like traveling or what because yeah <laughs> the size is just too big but with this one uh, this is the newer cabin and it's like it's really small but the material is remain the same like the stitches and everything and the uh, yeah, uh, probably only the size, but uh, all the material is remain the same with the, the cabin case. And also it brings also with the cover, so it is nice since uh, this uh, material is kind of uh, easy to get dirty and also getting sc scratched. <laughs> okay, and let's see what the side is bad. Ready? The one that you can feel for with size skip. Yeah, I am uh, not sure because this is I think this is probably for the sixty five percent, but I think it is also can covering the seventy five percent line. We can we can try it. We can try it because uh, your our uh, our Tom is still here, and yeah, we can we can try to uh, fill this case because I think there's. Uh, enough room right here so we can it, it, it still can cover uh, um uh, we can check it right there because uh, the head is like uh, really fit but we still have room on the left and right yeah we will see it so let me check uh, what inside the bag as always we have the monkey sticker right here and also another sticker with nice this nice sticker from monkey and also we have the bag not the bag this is also another card monkey x friends hero <laughs> the hero
and next we have the gasket strip or it is the power material so because uh, this board is uh, the gasket mount so we have like uh, a lot of uh, gasket strip here and yeah well, we will install it <laughs> to the case for sure and then we have uh, the torque screw right here torque screw which is nice because uh, it is uh, good for any keyboard kit that brings also with the screw so like uh, some user maybe do doesn't really have uh, the complete like tools to build their keyboard so it is nice to have a key uh, for any kind of uh, keyboard including this one so it is really good and then we have the GST GST cable comes with the daughter board it is the C3 variant from Unify daughter board it's nice Okay, next uh, we have the cloak with white color. So I think I prefer with the black color rather than this one. <laughs> because I like the black with the gold mono key logo is like more, uh, looks good, clean. And between, if, uh, if we compare to the this color cloak variant, uh, it is okay. It's okay. So let me see what else inside. So we have the plate foam. Also comes with the the Sion. I mean the name is Sion. Sion form. <laughs> let me open this. But actually, I I don't have plan to to uh, using the foam for this board. So I want to have uh, this keyboard is less foam. <laughs> Maybe we can just try to adding this uh, Sion or the case foam for this board. But let me see uh, how is the keyboard without any foam at all. Okay, let me check again. So we have the PC plate. It is the default plate comes from Monokey. Uh, actually, I really want the uh, alu or the aluminum plate for this board, but uh, I cannot get it because it's already sold out. <laughs> but yeah, no problem, we can build it with it with the PC plate. And then we have the solder PCB. Let me open this. We have PCB. Here it is. So it is the solder PCB. We're gonna doing solder again tonight. I like soldering. And uh, since this is the sixty five percent layout, I wanna try uh, another uh, like reference for this build so I want, I want to try to uh, build this board with the ISO layout since this is look like not a mainstream <laughs> but we'll see it should be really good to have 65% layout with the ISO keys or the ISO enters this again uh, and then this is I also prepare uh, some screw you know because uh, this is uh, this screw is uh, for the Dado board screw because uh, previously I just like uh, seeing some uh, keyboard not keyboard builder I mean uh, it is just to uh, extra screw for me because uh, I'm not really sure if, if the Dado board screw is uh, deep enough so I just uh, prepare the shortest screw for this daughter board and uh, hopefully the default screw is uh, already uh, mounting 
well <laughs> to this board. And then what else? Yeah, nothing. That's oil. And the last we have the board itself. Let me open it. It's it's really weird. It's hefty. It's really hefty. Here it is. Our book. You put it here, and here it is. Okay, let me open the plastic first. hefty one because uh, we have the full brass bottom configuration for this board so it is really hefty even though we didn't build it yet so let me show you guys design in Singapore a mono key nice so here is the side profile So you can see here, like there is uh, some angle on this side board. So it is like the two piece of board, but actually this a one piece or one block of this top case. But this have some angle, so it is some like have some reflected to the light. So here is the back. USB-C center with the daughter board and we have full brass bottom so I already uh, installed or uh, placed the fit for this one so here is the Mono K logo it's really clean and nice really simple board but I like it I like it let me put it here so maybe we can uh, bring my scale to uh, get really know about this board I mean uh, before we build it and after so let me bring my scale It is the weight of this board and will only case case only <laughs> it is 2.2 is around 2.2 kilograms without uh, adding like plate switch keycap PCBs and blah 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 so it's really hefty one nice and then okay I think I really have to open this plate the PC plate here is the plate it's like uh, this uh, for the gasket mounting area like this is the let me see so here's the front and here's the back this is like uh one sided so this this is not the leaf spring mounting or uh, in terms of the gasket mount what switch you're gonna use uh, i will use the Gateron ks3 black 
So I I was swap the spring with the TX uh, XL for the 18 millimeter, and then for the I also adding the Desky switch film to it, and yeah I was trying it and yeah I feel happy with the switches. Uh, yeah, we will see if we trying it on this board, how it sounds like because uh, like I was trying for the feel so for the switches and yeah I think it's really nice show you here and next <laughs> let me clean up the table first we'll need this one also the torque screw for the gasket gasket will be less you can put it here on my other table. Okay. And then let me bring the cutting mate. Our cutting mate. Okay. So let's start to build it. Woo! Okay. I also have prepare for the wire things and also I was uh, tuning it before off stream because uh, <laughs> I want to build it uh, fast so I don't need to like uh, spend time too much to tuning up the wire so we just gonna loop this one <laughs> gonna solder it and for the keycap uh, we are gonna use the uh, GNK Serik Serik but yeah I haven't uh, unboxing it yet so maybe before before uh, I look the stabilizer I can show you the keycap first So we're going to build this board with GMK keycap. So here it is. GMK Serik. From Zambumon. Serika Iragana Core. Nice. Is it? This one is still sealed. I haven't opened it yet. Let me see. I hope uh, we don't get uh, like scuff things on this one. It's a bit hard to getting out the what the <laughs> uh, uh. yeah we did it <laughs> we just did it now let me see do we have the ISO key for this one I hope I hope and I think there's an ISO key on this side since this is the basket of GMK Serica. Okay. Just a nice. Sorry for the light. Nice yellow and also this is like the beige for the Alpas key. Let's see. It's nice. Let me unbox other keys. Oh, 
okay so we have the iso key or iso enter right here light lightning <laughs> so we're gonna try to use this iso key on this board yeah iso on 75 keyboard my amount we will see Okay, so the I think the new one GMK uh, keycap tray have this like top covering, so it won't like <laughs> going anywhere when you are unboxing it. It's also uh, yeah, keep your keycap is uh, stay on it is place. Nice, so we have the ISO and let's try to loop the stacks. Also, if you follow uh, Mono K, I think uh, okay the TGR double revel date for the uh, Valentine edition is already closed. So if you are joining uh, the keyboard revel, I hope you winning the board with the pink color of both for the TGR uh, Jane, also for the nine ten. Okay, so let me prepare it. It's my brush. And let me find my cat. Where is it? Cat, cat. Here you go. Also in this in the end of this stream I will have like uh, the AB testing like we did uh, previous on uh, yesterday with the Tomo but yeah let me see if we can like not comparing it this it is like uh, looking it uh, side by side and see how is uh, my opinion and also if you have opinion about the and result of the board so which one you like and which one you like wait 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 what the heck what's happening okay still here no worries okay <laughs> <laughs> <Bad old man. laughs> okay, let's start a little bit. Also, I want to tell you a story about this board, like. <clears throat> Uh, the history uh, behind this board is like uh, the inspiration of this board is uh, refers to the HHKB Pro H Pro HG uh, made in Japan. So if you search on Google, you can find like the similar the similarity of uh, the shape of this board, especially for the side profile. It is almost look the same. And also uh, this board like the kick out uh, 65% is also have the same inspiration 
with this one. I will show you later after I doing this step. How is the preview of the HHKB HG Pro? So you can like have like imagine how is the shape and how is the board looks like. Well, I am late. <laughs> no, you are not late. We're just starting it, Taufik. Welcome. We just start. Belum super lihat case ya. Nanti lihat finalnya aja. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You will see uh, the case later. No worries. Just stay with the stream. See it. And then let me clean up. I'm drinking water. Oh, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. So, let me drink water. Cheers. Thank you, bro Farisa. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Maybe I have to adding like uh, don't forget to vape <laughs> because uh, like uh, some mostly in the stream I like uh, not vape a lot but if I have a time uh, have time to break yeah, I do vaping <laughs> but I'm not smoke or I'm not smoking install it Okay, so before I looping the wire, maybe I can show you a bit, guys. How is the HHKB uh, Pro keyboard looks like? Wait, stay here. <laughs> HHKB HG Professional Japan. Here's my browser. So here 
here is the board uh, the HHKB HG Pro or HG Pro this is the, how the board is look like and if you can see from the side profile so this is uh, this is uh, like almost like look like the heroes one or my heroes but the front so you can see like there's some uh, angle on here it is uh, uh, the same as like the key call 2 per 65 or the 65 percent but the heroes uh, we we don't have uh, the angle on this side we only have one side here's the back it is really good so i i haven't like touch or seeing it uh physically but if uh there's a person who have this board it is really it's really nice <laughs> it's like a treasure this one kasi warna apa bang warna silver sama persis kayak ini silver so we have the silver case okay so let me continue to uh, looping the steps so we can move faster to the build process. So do you have any plan for next or tomorrow Saturday night? Because uh, previously I, I was planning to build this board on the Saturday night, but after I thinking for a while, I think uh, for the Saturday night, I, I would prefer to uh, have another agenda rather than build a keyboard because uh, in this month I just built a lot of keyboard for uh, our friends in this hobby. so. Hopefully, uh, uh, some of the previous board that have been received by the owner, they are glad with the end result. Okay. one so in terms of the uh, case structure i think some of the malaysian or the singapore keyboard maker have like uh, the same ideas maybe uh, when they have a plan to like launch a keyboard or developing a keyboard like uh, they change uh, their idea between uh, one maker to the other one because uh, what I am seeing with this uh, keyboard case so the case is all uh, uh, the case is just have two screw for the case and uh, not two, four screw for the case and it is uh, similar like the Kohaku keyboard and like 
uh, some like mono K keyboard it's only have four screws but honestly for the screw placement I didn't really like it because uh, it is like uh, too near with the case padding kan mau nanya kalau disuruh pilih board dengan case dan PC bagus tapi suara jelek di mana keyboard dibanding keyboard suara biasa aja tapi suara bagus pilih yang mana <tuh> uh, beberapa orang ada yang nggak peduli sama suara yang penting feelnya enak ada juga mereka yang uh, prefer suaranya enak tapi feelnya soso uh, aja gitu. jadi balik lagi kalau saya pribadi sih saya lebih suka feel yang nyaman ketimbang suara ya karena feel itu kayak kita ngerasain di jari gitu buat long term gitu enak nggak nyaman nggak dipakai keyboardnya kalau suara sih harusnya istilahnya selama suaranya nggak nggak jelek-jelek banget lah istilahnya nggak yang nggak ancur-ancur banget gitu soalnya agak susah juga gitu nyari kita dapat keyboard atau dapat keyboard yang apa ya benar-benar balance tuh between the sound and the feels nice itu ya agak susah sih sebenarnya kadang bisa jadi preferensi kita sama orang beda ada yang menurut orang uh, ini enak gitu buat 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 saya gitu buat gua tapi buat orang lain belum tentu enak gitu ada orang yang suka keyboard typing feelnya agak stiff gitu nggak terlalu bouncy gak terlalu flex tapi ada juga yang suka uh, bouncy gitu yang dia nggak terlalu gak terlalu firm typing feelnya jadi it's depend on you bukan karena feel sih pengen, tapi lebih ke arah proses machiningnya di case nya oh machining case kalau untuk mesining sih sebenarnya gimana ya kayak setiap vendor itu kan beda-beda ya kayak dia through the prosesnya selama uh, selama kalau misalkan keyboard alu dia bisa bukan susah juga bukan gak ada jaminan selama si finishingnya itu si anodize nya misalkan nggak sampai cacat banget kelihatan sih sebenarnya masih fine-fine aja Oh ya, emang ini kan tiap keyboard tuh uh, mereka vendor machiningnya atau CNC nya kan beda-beda ada yang benar bagus bagus gitu finishingnya benar-benar sampai ke QC nya ada juga yang memang uh, ya gacha gitu kadang kita bisa dapat yang bagus kadang kita dapat yang beda gitu makanya <tuh> mungkin kalau misalkan kita beli keyboard uh, dengan varian atau color yang sama dengan orang lain mungkin pas kita udah sampai itu bisa kelihatan beda kayak contoh kejadian eh, ada teman saya yang punya F1 beli varian hitam tapi yang datang eh, apa kayak gray Taufik harusnya tahu soalnya gue bukan tipe orang yang suka suara tapi lebih ke suka ke case rumah PCB dengan gambar yang sulit jadi nilai yang buat gue uh, kalau PCB sebenarnya sih apa ya dulu tuh eranya PCB dibikin lekuk-lekuk yang bagus tuh kan waktu pas keluarnya Vega kan jadi dulu uh, PCB itu kayak ini markingnya PCB dulu kan dia kalau biasanya tuh zaman jaman 2 tahun lalu tuh tekukan PCB itu nggak kayak ada roundingnya kayak gini nih itu agak jarang jadi kayak dia tuh kaku banget yang kayak patahan gitu tapi sebenarnya sih selama si PCB nya dia itu works well dan enggak ada issues enggak uh, enggak terlalu masalah sih si apa namanya si PCB nya mau kayak gimana juga soalnya uh, ya PCB ya tetap hanya PCB aja gitu dia mau tampilannya bagus atau misalkan tampilannya biasa aja yang penting dia fiturnya berjalan normal gitu 
karena mostly beberapa orang pun uh, keyboard sama PCB kadang bisa beda juga tapi kan yang yang terpenting uh, keyboard itu bekerja dengan sesuai gitu kayak misalkan dia pengen support via atau pakai via ya bisa like PCB is, uh, doesn't matter if you are choosing a board as long ya yeah, as long the the yeah, PCBs have no issues misalnya PCB Mr. Sweet take all bagus tapi case nya biasa aja tapi kalau misal pakai case lain boleh lah nah itu dia <coughs> uh, kita nggak bisa sembarangan match and match uh, antara case sama keyboard kadang ada Uh, keyboard-keyboard tertentu yang memang case-nya dibikin apa case dan PCB itu emang harus itu gitu jadi nggak bisa kayak kita pakai aftermarket PCB gitu kayak unicorn eh unicorn nggak bisa unicorn kan 60% universal kayak misal kayak Kohaku terus kayak PCB ini pun nggak uh, semua PCB kita bisa pakai gitu misalkan saya mau pakai PCB yang dari brand atau merek lain itu beda karena kan inner case nya kan beda-beda jadi kayak mungkin di, di dalam si uh, si bottom case nya itu ada kayak lekukan atau apa yang memang didesain khusus makanya kayak misalkan keyboard ini tuh nah dia kan ada lekukan-lekukan gini nih ini tuh nyesuaiin sama si case nya jadi nggak semua PCB bisa masuk di keyboard ini gitu kecuali keyboard nya emang universal gitu misalkan kayak 60% o-ring nah itu Mostly kalau 60% sih nggak susah nyarinya. Oh, terima salah satunya. <laughs> jadi harus terima salah satunya ya. Iya, jadi uh, apa namanya harus ya memang susah juga ya dapat keyboard yang memang benar-benar uh, sesuai dengan apa yang kita mau gitu jadi dilihat aja poin-poin pentingnya misalkan kamu pengen keyboard yang spek bukan spek ya listnya misalkan A B C D E F G nah, misalkan ada lima nih ada lima list yang kamu pengen dari keyboard nah, misalkan uh, si keyboard ini punya tiga list yang cocok di kamu nah yang dua list ini yang mungkin nggak masuk di kamu nah ini kamu consider nggak gitu atau mau nerima nggak dengan yang dua poin yang nggak masuk di keyboard itu kalau kamu nerima langsung ambil Kalau enggak ya mungkin tunggu sampai uh, kamu dapat yang sesuai gitu kayak misalkan bentuknya atau apanya. Ya. Space R3 sih bagus PCB dan case-nya Space R3 aku udah pernah coba build. Kalau R3 belum belum sih. Kalau R2 pernah. R3 juga bagus sebenarnya. Dia juga uh, apa space tuh dia pakai gasket mount kan yang terbaru kalau dulu dia masih top mount itu. top mount oke okay, so here is it we have done with the step with the stabilizer and now let me try to install it gue pengen cetak PCB kayak model special edit kayaknya bagus nyetak PCB is not as easy as you think also it will come with the price pokoknya kalau kayak nyetak PCB cuma satu biji doang tuh uh, harganya pasti bakal mahal gitu ketimbang bikin dengan kuota yang banyak gitu but mostly for the PCB apa ya selama kamu handle nya benar sih harusnya PCB nya bakal terus bertahan tapi bakal mahal kalau misalkan dijual ke market uh, it's depend <laughs> kalau ada market nya mungkin iya makanya kan kayak apa uh, kayak kalau tahu PCB nya daya dia nggak semua jenis layout dia bikin gitu bukan nggak semua jenis layout kayak 
biasanya kalau maker maker PCB itu yang memang dijual buat spare atau aftermarket tuh dia ngelihat pasar juga gitu. Jadi kayak istilahnya misalkan dia mau pakai mau bikin create PCB 60% yang dia bisa masuk ke semua jenis 60% keyboard, nah itu masih make sense gitu. Tapi kayak misalkan bikin PCB ini misalkan ya, yang cuman bisa dipakai buat di satu jenis keyboard itu kayak mungkin effort sama hasilnya enggak enggak sebanding kali. <laughs> Kecuali emang si PC banyak universal. I'll try the ISO should be like this. Should be on this. We try the ISO for the enter key. Okay, so let me screw in the steps. Where's my screwdriver? Let me find it. Let me find it. Here it is. I saw the 65 ES. Nice. We'll have the ISOs because I really have I I never have an ISO keyboard before, so probably we're gonna try it. <laughs> Since this is the solder uh, PCB, so we can like use any layout that we can use with this. CVs. Apakah split backspace? Aduh, uh, I'm not the split backspace person. <laughs> Biar makin aneh. <laughs> no, just regular backspace. Wait, kok screw-nya kurang ya? We have less screw, let me see it. Okay, so I'm running out of the screw, so let me find it. Screw steps, screw steps. Paris punya keyboard apa aja, by the way, Mbak? Atau sekarang lagi pakai keyboard apa? 
Atau lagi hunting keyboard <laughs> If you're ada tujuh kayaknya gue lupa. Oke. Okay. <laughs> ada tujuh dan lupa. Mantap sekali. <laughs> Or currently lagi pakai apa? Maksudnya yang paling sering dipakai. Gak mungkin kan tujuh tujuhnya disimpan. Kebuat mulai sebelah no worries. Um, harga kan cuma price tag selama kita enjoy with the board. Why not? Even this board also cheap. My daily daily keyboard. It's not the like the expensive board. Terus begitu tahun 2000-an membran, oh that's OG keyboard Murah ya <laughs> Murah tapi kalau langka ya beda harga juga <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. oke okay. Wrong direction Woo, I saw, I saw Isora son. Tahun 2000 berarti keyboard klasik ya. Classic board. I think there is a server for the classic keyboard. So probably you can join it. But I'm not too sure what what is the name but there's a community for the classic keyboard so maybe you can like uh, can sharing part and anything uh, so it's pakai apa tuh by the way si keyboard classic -nya. is that cherry mx switches Kayaknya tinggal tuh vintage ada yang 81, 97, 2000 Oh nice So you are vintage lovers What what kind of the brand is like IBM or something else? IBM IBM Classic Board Yang jelas McDonald itu satu yang tahun 81 itu pun pakai Switch Alps merk Omron dan gue mau cari sebenernya susah Susah? Ada sih cuman ya memang susah Makanya join komunitas di apa yang keyboard klasik itu aku lupa namanya apa deh. Tadi deh di IMK juga ada. Jadi kayak mungkin mereka bisa tahu apa namanya kalau mau cari part-part apa apa namanya switch atau keycap tertentu yang klasik gitu. Mungkin mereka kayak punya linknya. Tripping ops. Oke. Okay. Tapi basically dia masih working kan maksudnya keyboard itu masih masih bisa dipakai kan. Masih gue coba lompat dong <laughs> Ya ampun So, hope you find your treasure <laughs> Tapi 
tapi justru di situ seninya apa keyboard klasik itu nyari nyari spare partnya apanya one u is right here one twenty five u is what about here one twenty five u should be here Okay, so let me check it uh, with the keycap. Let me bring in the keycap. So we have to install the seven U. Si Razer, beware ini mod Rock Six Seven sama bahkan Eko. Okay, nice. That's a lot of stuff. That's good. Let me install the ISO first. Okay, it's really tight. For a brand new keycap. Okay, <laughs> we'll try ISO. I think it's good. Let me install for the left shift. Wait, put Amburado. Install this shift one. punya dua kali kalau nyoba atau nge-build mungkin banyak tapi kayak punya sendiri sih enggak kalau nyoba banyak keyboard iya nyoba beberapa tapi kalau punya mah cuma satu dua doang just install the switch without the four things actually I have the four but I'm too lazy to using it <laughs> I 
and also the PC plate is like uh, grip really well to the switches. So I think we don't need to use the fork or the helper switch alignment. Switch alignment with balik bush. Apa namanya tempat ujian dia banyak juga koleksinya oh pasti Ijai juga kayaknya dia kan bikin keyboard juga This one and then the last is one, two, five. Not the last. Bottom row. Why it's not fit? Is it should be here. Wait, let me check why we cannot put one to five U here. Okay, we can. We cannot for this one. Let me see. It should be work. It's weird. Okay. Let's try to install other switches. Switchnya pakai Gateron KS3 Black. KS3 Black. Swap spring pakai TX 62 gram long pole atau yang 18 mm. Sama pakai Deski switch film. Deski So let me check uh, the keycap position on the bottom row. So 
So we have the wait. One new subject here. <coughs> Really nice. It is like the vibrant color, yellow color for this keycap. It's look nice. And for this side, the scene. Okay, that's clear. And we are using. Okay, it's perfect. It's perfect. So maybe I can bring you the keyboard before we start soldering, and we can like check in for the case. Mm. Here is a fake if you are curious with the case. So here is the case. We have the silver case with the brass bottom. This is it's really hefty. Drops, it's really hefty. So we have the hex screw right here. Let me Open up this the screw. Gimana cara ngangkatnya? Diangkat. Cara ngangkatnya dengan tenaga. Emang agak berat sih, karena dia nggak ada kayak apa angle buat ngangkatnya. Pakai dua tangan sih bisa gitu, asal tangannya nggak licin aja. Yes. Betul, full brass button. Hello, Mitsa. Welcome to the stream again. Let me check. Oh, music mati dari tadi. Check it for a while.
Okay. So, oh iya. <laughs> bodoh, bodoh, bodoh. Jadi kita kalau mau masang ini, beberapa kicapnya emang harus dilepas. Aku cuma mau ngecek doang sih. Yes. So, we just install the switch on the correct alignment. Basically, I just want to check it, and we can move. Uh, we can really move it without screwing the board. So let me bring this. Berat banget, bos. You hear it? Bakso, bakso. So, with the case, can run. <laughs> bisa, bisa, bisa. Wait. Wait here. So, bro, uh, I have to take a pee. So, please stay. It will take only. Okay, chat. It's time to soldering. Let me check for the switch alignment. Drink a water again. Thank you, Bro Faris. Let me drink water. Cheers. <laughs> ah, nice. Okay. We have the ISO. The first keyboard ISO Okay, it's nice. It's time to soldering. Easy. Let me prepare our tools. Soldering time, soldering time. Sebelum menyolder bagusnya minum dulu kan udah tadi. Sebelum nyolder, enaknya ngapain dulu? Okay, let me bring my tip cleaner. Tip cleaner. Paris, kayaknya kalau ada meet up nih, keyboardnya bisa bawa se satu meja ya. Ya Paris ya. Satu meja abis buat keyboard kamu semua nih. Tujuh. 
Ya buat klasik kan gede-gede bentuknya kayak piano. Let me set the temp. Let me turn on my exhaust film. Will be berisik for a while. <laughs> Karena gue bawa cuma satu doang yang proto dari gue <laughs> Mantap sih Gila udah bikin proto Tapi saya salut ya buat orang-orang yang uh, berdedikasi buat bikin keyboard Walaupun itu akrilik Tapi at least uh, dia sudah bisa menyumbangkan waktu dan idenya untuk buat satu fisik keyboard Kemarin kan gue ngajak meet up di Bandung sama Pak Tijoni. Oh, sama Taufik ya? Hujan. Mau meet up teh hujan wae. Nah, cuaca. Teh. Tapi harusnya sih nanti <coughs> next kayaknya bakal banyak meet up lagi sih. Nungguin ini juga sih meet up Akbar. Yang di ini kan yang di apa namanya yang di kafe apa tuh di daerah apa Bandung Bandung buat ngurusin proto oh mantap ajak-ajak dong DM DM kasih tau kalau ada meet up biar kita bisa kumpul buat orang-orang yang di sekitar Bandung also Taufik 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 Sarah Uh, terus siapa lagi uh, Om Ray terus Handi Jakarta Bandung sih ah banyak lah pokoknya sama si Nando juga saya di Bandung di Jakarta oh <laughs> kirain <laughs> it's okay it's okay it's okay tapi di Jakarta kayak apa ya meetupnya <coughs> apa namanya karena orang yang banyak gitu kumpul di sana sekalian mau motoran ke sana berarti kemarin datang dong ke Toki minta Toki let me bring my solder wires di mana solder wires Oh, What the heck? Where is it? Come on. Oh, Toki nggak datang. Ya, yeah, gimana mau nyol deh? Di mana mana, boy? Do you see my solar wire? Oke, aku ginum lagi ya. Oke. Okay. Nah, tadi sore habis ngoler juga, lupa naro. Solar start. Check the speed. Oke, okay, we found it. We found the solder wire. So I want to use my earphone. Proxy belum backend. Proxy belum. Wait. Maaf, 
laki dong saudara gue pantai pantesan gak meleleh meleleh Foxy yang musoku tensei oh garapan ini Valdi juga belum belum lihat mungkin bentuknya <coughs> pernah lihat ya tapi lupa kalau di google ada gak sih Foxy Musoku Tensei yang keluar anime <laughs> cari di flex IMKG oke okay, layout berapa persen Volume X T, uh, okay, nice. Kursinya ketinggian. Uh, mantap alunya sun. Di lagi lagi lah ngeri. Ah, lu keyboard XT white. Bakaran sama kayak ini enggak apa? Type 65 gitu. Hmm. Kalau ada budget ada lah. Rezeki pasti datang di saat yang tepat. It's no worries. Biasanya kalau udah ngomong, pasti kesampean sih What's poppin' helps too, ayo Iya, <laughs> <Yo>, ayo <laughs> okay. gue pengen board yang case sama PCB nya gak kompatibel sama PCB lagi <laughs> berarti bikin PCB sendiri dong gak pake DYZ tapi DYZ kan gak ada gak ada XT DYZ gak bikin PCB buat XT juga apa ada yang 65% XT deh pakai case akrilik tapi lupa namanya waktu itu sempat apa googling googling terus nemu Pantesan Valdi jarang nongol sekarang ya, mungkin lagi fokus bikin project ya Oh iya sih, pantas 
Hmm. Dulu kan lumayan aktif Aldi mana. <tuh> Tapi emang susah juga sih apa kalau udah ada kesibukan lain pasti kita bakal fokus buat yang lama. Kalau PCB-nya udah beres belum dibikin? Nah, pas gue di Bandung dia sempetin tuh ketemu gue. Oke. Okay. I'll go raid the cherry factory and then want something. Ah? Huh? Do you want to raid the cherry factory? Want something? Maybe uh, a switches? <laughs> Um, switches sample, yeah. <laughs> what switches, guys? Do you have any ideas? What kind of switches? Or cherry, maybe? Yeah. Maybe we can try the uh, the Nixis. Maybe I haven't tried yet for the Nixis. for the OG MX Black if there's as long as it's ain't bronze I'll get the okay that's okay No blues or greens. Yeah, I agree with that. No blue switches. Is that cherry have the green switches? I haven't seen it yet. Cherry greens. I think I just really uh, know about the cherry green variants.
to slow down yet? Wait, which one? Yes, from here. PCB nya Enic enggak Enic enggak tuh board maksudnya Enic what what is Enic Reading from Germany, okay. Oh, masking. Oh, do you mean a masking PCBs? No, I think. I think there is no masking for the PCBs. But it's really nice to solder in on it. Like the lid is uh, can melt properly to the hole. Like the uh, unicorn PCB is all uh, is also nice to solder in. So the lid is stick really well. To the pins.
We are almost done with the soldering. Okay, it is, I guess. Here we go. Here we go. So, I think we need to check it first for the functionality. I hope there is nothing wrong with this PCB. Because this is the only one PCB that I have. So I didn't buy or bought the secondary or the second or the second. Uh, I didn't buy for the spare PCB. And as long as the micro control is do not have problem I think if there were any problem with the pad I think I can still handle for it nice let me check let me check it's time to do okay not fear. Boom. Okay, we have the MNK sixty five STM thirty two. This is our PCBs. Wait, can we make the light out ISOs? Of course. Okay, we have. <laughs> Anjir, jarang jarang lihat. Via ini ya, ISO ya. Oke, that's it. Quick test. What is caps lock? We don't need caps lock. Oke, okay, nice. Woohoo! It's done. Wait. I want to remove the caps lock since I don't need caps lock one. You can use like the mm, 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 special layer or MO1, maybe 
can use the MO to right here. Goodbye, caps lock. One taps, Alfaris. Okay, boy. So we just need to bring back our case to the table. We can start to install. So, where's the case? Have it, case. And then I need to grab the form gasket case. We can install it. To the case. Let me bring my tweezer. Tweezer, tweezer. Where are you, tweezer? Here it is. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, gasket. Uh, gasket socks and uh, not gasket socks. Gasket placement on the bottom case. Not sure if uh, Monoke send uh, more or extra gasket strip for this one. Hopefully there is another extras. Try to put this. And also uh, the length of the gasket is similar to each other's. So we have the same length for the gasket one. Three, Okay, and next uh, I will try to install the one, two, 
or it is called the C3 or the DB dot apart. So let me open the screw from the mono K for the daughter board. Hero, yes! Hello! Hello, Brotoyo, welcome, welcome. Here it is, we have the default screw. For mono K, let me see. My other screws. Okay. Let me wait, wait, wait. Let me show it to you. The different between the screw. Ah, so sad. So the black I was purchased myself and uh, this one is the default from Monoke cakep pas lihat Mila PVD nya punya si siapa yang PVD kalau nggak salah punya ini deh si si Lish deh nggak tahu tuh abun kayaknya jadi nggak ambil yang ini deh so the black one is uh, from yeah, I purchased myself and the left this one is the longer uh, it is come from the monokey punya monokey nya oh minta email kaki kemarin oh iya aku nggak lihat eh keliwat keliwat yuk Let me see. Can we just install this? The screws. Berarti kalau kemarin ada di IMKG itu ya protonya. Proto PVD. Do we have the hex? Yes, we have it. Where is my screw things? Is it? Let me try. Let me try. Okay, we can use it. Kadang ngeri ngeri sedap ini screw daughter boardnya. Oh, okay. Nah, kan mantap sih. So we are not using the default from Monokey okay because it is just too long. And I'm not too sure if the uh, whole screw or the inner screw on the case is long enough to covering up uh, the screw length. fits perfectly so we don't need this piece screw. maybe in the future I will change this like the case screw because I don't really like for the torque screw because sometimes it's just got really hard to okay, unscrew Okay. Bung Toyo nggak ambil Valentine Edition TGR <laughs> Pink variant. Oke, 
Okay, nice. So next we just need to bring the top case. Is the top case nice? Set up a bit so we have more room. So here is the silver top case. So let me install the gasket strip here. Flip it. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, four spare gasket for this build. Here is here. Install this PCB team. Okay, so actually we have the case foam, 
So would you like to see this board with the case foam or not? So yes or not? Case foam, yes or no? Or oh, the Sion. Sion, Sion, no! <laughs> Where's the foam? Oh, well, there is it. So no foam. We'll try without any foam. Okay. Sit properly, and the next thing we we need to remove this keycap. Set because it will uh, it will like interference with the screw screw mounting point. Where's the switch puller? My switch puller. Menentakan kali mejaku. Need to also remove the backspace. Come on, okay. Yes. Let me install the top case first. Nicely done. Okay. So next thing we can screw in using this small screw. Wait, let me check for the. Okay, that's nice. So here is it. I don't really like how the mounting screw on this side. that why there is no magnetic screw for this one I think that's enough. So never over type the screw. So it will be easier for us to like unscrew it later. Ini PCB atau plat mon maksudnya? Uh, PCB PCB mon. Gasket on, gasket no. Okay, like that. So the mounting screw is uh, almost similar like the Kohaku one. So if you ever uh, saw people building their Kohaku. So the, the mounting point is like the, the Kohaku have one, two, three, four mounting point and it is the same. Have the same kind of it. Like okay. That's enough. Alright. So I get the keycap. So with the back space. Okay, so next is let me clean up my table. It will look more aesthetic. <laughs> A little bit. Clean up any scratch possibility. Okay, that's all. And next, 
The last part is install the keycap. Let me see the USB-C is just right in the center. Right on his position. Okay. Let me bring you the keycap. So you can install. Uh, the keycap set. Oh, plate-nya maksudnya lihat yes. ini uh, plate plate mount jadi so the gasket is uh, like compressing on the plate not to the PCB baru <laughs> it is a uh, plate so the gasket is compressing to the plate not the gas, not the PCB. So it is not the PCB mount. Okay, nice. Okay. Can we compare it with the other board? <laughs> Let me see. But we have different plate material. You quality you Yuan, ada Yuan eh, Yuan gak nonton. U E U E O U E O P. I don't want to use the club or the sculpted keycap. So let me find the bar F and J. I think it is here. Yes. I prefer to use the bar for a proper uh, natural feelings. G, G, L, Sun. Agak kotor ya kikatnya ya. Kalau oh, masih di seal. Z X C. Silver with the yellow is really a vibrant color. Nice combination, I think. 
or maybe a silver case is like can uh, fit to many keycap set. Yeah, we do keycap on all kind of problems. You Karena ini juga soalnya game kak uh, sus juga dia isinya. Okay, for the top, you can use maybe home key. Not home key. Okay, ini ada sini. Ha 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 ha. Boleh jadi kelihatan EY. Oh iya. Yeah. Oh iya. Kalau sus coba ngomong sama penggiat aja nih biar tanya diganti. Bisa, 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 bisa. Wait. Ya kita salah pasang key cap di sini. Yes, look this. Itu benar sih. Patch up. Like this is maybe the in this is page down ah bodo lah ya okay whatever yang penting kepasang dulu kita nggak akan terlalu peduli juga row ini okay what else maybe yeah that's it that's it Okay, maybe we can use this F N. Yeah, ni tray nya nggak ramah lingkungan. Like, kenapa nggak dibikin kayak JTK gitu kan? Tray nya bagus tu JTK. What need this up to the top? Nice, it's nice. How is it? Yeah, yeah, finally. Okay, so let me bring the scale. Just for information, how much it weigh after the build. So if I'm not wrong, we got the two point two kilos, as only. And after the build with all the material we have, wait, we have two point five. So it added like three three hundred grams with all the stuff. Jangan jatuh kah deh di MK harus belajar aku tu trainya udah bagus. Ya, tapi aku ini trainya susah dicopot, kipetnya bobrol. Ya harus dicongcel gitu loh. Tapi bagus sih. Okay. Kayak nyopotnya tuh bener kan, itu Taufik juga. Aku tu. Bagus mah bagus gitu, cuma nyopotnya itu. Okay guys, so we are just finish build the board. Fungsinya kita puler buat itulah. Okay, smart boy. So here it is, our sixty five percent line on comes with the ISOs. We now have the ISOs. Here's the side profile. Ooh, nice. Look at this. So there's no gap. So the keycap is just floss nicely on the side so we can really see how the switches from the side game kan ngasih dmk ke puller kan kayaknya belum ada deh here's the front 
also there is no uh, some like weird gap to the front also from the back and of course from the bottom on the front so it is plus uh, perfectly and covering up the keycap and it is nice it's kind of remind me with the RME keyboard which is the what is the 65% for MME RME studios which is the Emery Emery have the good appearance in terms of the keycap uh, height so like all the keycap is like covering up with the case so we can so we can we cannot see uh, a weird gap between the keycap and the case it is nice okay Okay, interesting. Interesting. Are you ready, guys? Let me connect. Wait, wait. Let me change a bit. Let me change a bit. Uh, control. All. Wind, yeah, not this one. Control of wind. Control. Left alt. Left wind. Here is it. Here is. Kelihatannya kayak kelihatan satu piece ya, gimana? Ah, uh, maksudnya satu piece gimana? Ya maksudnya si ininya ngeflash ke. Sempurna itu sih keycap Oke, it's typing last time Oke, okay, just sit right here Oke, okay, so let me pause the music <coughs> And clear the mic So here is it, our final build for tonight. It is the Moonkey Hero. So we just build it using the PC plate. And we are not using any foam on this board. And for the switches, we are using the Gateron KS3 black. Uh, I just swapped spring with the 62 uh, gram with the 18 millimeter springs or the XL as you know and then I, I also adding the desk switch film <coughs> to the switch and what else uh, for the keycap we are using the GMK Serica Hiragana core on this one and here is the typing test sound
Okay, guys. So, <clears throat> uh, my point of view of this board is like I like the Elpis songs. So it is uh, tend to a clappy song, but not too high pitch. So that's why I am choosing the Gateron KS3 Black. So it have a. Uh, Black switches, but not too high pitch like the Jelly Black, one of my favorite switches. Zazu rhythm, rhythms drink water. Okay, let me drink water for Zazu. Thank you, Zazu. Let me back. So the most muted uh, sounding of this part is on this number for the pop cluster of this one. Okay, I I think I like the bottom row on this board okay I, I think there's no hollowness on this board as far as my ears can hear let me check let me double check it yeah there's no hollowness For the space bar, honestly, I don't really like how the space bar sounds like. Wait, wait a minute. Ah, oh, I forgot to install another switch for the space bar. Okay, no problem. We can desolder it later. Because I just planning to install the the Gatron yellow on the spacebar only because that's my favorite switches for the spacebar and I just forgot to bring it okay no problem <laughs> that's why okay so here is it our build for tonight so guys let me bring you another board so we can like we can really compare the board but <clears throat> uh, it is another 65 percent one of the famous 65 percent keyboard uh, in the market i think and might be already know it here is singer kiwi so i bring you the kohaku keyboard uh actually actually this is not my board my board <laughs> because uh, i was borrow it from my best friend in this hobby and maybe some of you is already know who is it okay let me bring up to you Kohaku board. Here it is. So the difference between the zoom in. So the difference between the Kohakus with the <coughs> uh, with the heroes. I think uh, it's easy for me to like describe that the Kohaku have a more lean angle since uh, the typing angle for the Kohaku is like 8 degrees and for this one is uh, 6 degree so typing angle on uh, typing angle on Kohaku is like more taller but the sound is really nice Especially for the space bar. Oh my god. Well, 
más jauh ya Oke, okay, I think I have to like modif a bit for the space bar. Maybe changing the switches or something else because I just realized I putting the wrong switches for the space bar, but it's okay. We can maintain it later. Here is it. Do you want me type on Kohaku? So let me type on Kohaku. Just for a reference to you guys. So here it is Kohaku. <coughs> so it is uh, the Kohaku keyboard. It is using the plate, uh, plate, aluminum plate, and then using the SP star switches. If I'm not wrong, it is the material gray, or uh, I'm not too sure. I forgot, but it is like the yeah. The SP star switches, and then uh, it is uh, not sure about the spring weight, but it is using the GMK keycap. And yeah, let me type in on it. It's very so good. Yes, definitely. It's so good. one we have the heroes on the other side oh, jauh banget, eh? okay so it is it is really different <laughs> okay I think spacebar uh, Kohaku is like more uh, more crisp for the sounds but not sure if I changing the switch on this keycap but I think there is a bit different walaupun cuma dua tapi mahal-mahal bon this actually this is not mine bro this is this is not mine <laughs> this is my friend's board really I don't mind this is not mine but for the typing feel Maybe that's because uh, the Kohaku one is using the alu plate that makes uh, like the bottom out feelings on this board is like a bit firmer or a bit stiff compared to this one. So this is using the PC plate. So that's why the bottoming, the bottoming out on this board is not uh, really uh, that hard or that firm. Pengen Kohaku. Cool. <laughs> Ikutlah revelnya.
But actually for the Alpas, I choose the hero because it sound more crackier than this one. But this is also nice. This is ha the Kohaku have high pitch crack, but uh, it is not too high pitch like. It is hard to describe, but it is like the crisp clacky switches or the uh, crisp clacky keyboard sounding. Okay, so but for overall, I'm happy with the build. And this one is not bad also. This not sound bad at all. Nice. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. So guys, finally we just did it. We just finished build this board. And also we just do some A-B testing. Let me compare it one by one. Tap, heroes. Clear not filter. Kohaku. Heroes. Yes, new daily driver. Surprisingly, the bottom row, I mean the control on this left, bottom left, is almost sound similar, but not sure. But Kohaku is more nice. using the split backspace Silver brass bottoms. Okay, sitting really nice. Okay, guys, do you have any questions yet <laughs> before we end up of our streaming? Fatima Inga sih Kang, uh, maybe someday, but for now uh, just using the base. Since this is like still masih masih mulus juga ngapain di Fatima? <laughs> Mahal juga Fatima. Pecinta high pitch board pasti ambil ke aku definitely. Correct, that's correct.
red and silver ini kayak berdarah Indonesia ya kalau dijajarin nggak red white is not white it is silver but uh, yeah of course the length is the same lebarnya pasti sama lah sama sama tujuh lima persen Jadi Faris kapan main ke Bandung? <laughs> Mending turun kang udah malam <laughs> betul betul sih emang benar bentar lagi mau turun. <laughs> Oke okay, ya yeah. guys maybe <coughs> that's all our streaming because I just take like three streaming for three days ago now and this is the ending of this week. And okay, Faris, thank you very much for the uh, uh, participation. Hope we can see again uh, next time. Kohaku berarti berapa? Okay, let me take my scales. Kayaknya lebih ringan sih. Kohaku. Put it here. Here. Oi, timbangan. Oi. Error, boy. Come on. Hurry up. What are you doing? Ah, dia mau nimbang malah error. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Last ah, okay. So here is the Kohaku weight. 1,8 kilos. It's 1.8 kilos for the Kohaku. Compared to this boy. Two point five. Hampir berapa kilo jadi bedanya? Uh, dua setengah dikurangi 1,8 hampir 600 gram half half kilos difference is we put it carefully nice it's nice okay so chunky brass correctly <laughs> so guys uh, thank you very much for coming up to the stream and uh, maybe we will have another keyboard build stream on uh, Monday and like my internet connection is become unstable right now <laughs> maybe it's a sign for me to ending up this streaming so thank you very much for joining Thank you Faris, thank you Taufik, thank you Mitsal, thank you also for Bro Toyo and Hop Zets Totaku. What else? Let me absent yeah. Thank you also Bro Levan. I will sending your board uh, probably tomorrow. And yeah, that's all. Thank you very much. See you again on February Keyboard Build on Monday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good night, everyone. Happy Friday night. It's also happy weekend for you. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.